on. Okay. Let the function be this and fx be this, gx be this in the xy plane. What are the x corners of the points of intersection of f of g? Okay. So points of intersection basically means that where are the two functions equal, right? So in other words, they are looking for the values of x where these two will be equal to each other. The function is 1 plus 3 sec x and the gx is nothing but negative 5. I'm going to subtract 1 both the sides. So it's going to look like 3 sec of x is negative 6. I'm going to divide both sides with 3. So sec of x is negative uh, 2 because, you know, 3 times 2 is 6. If you're obviously not comfortable with sec, totally fine. Convert that into cos because cos of x will be nothing but negative 1 over 2 as sec is 1 over cos, you know. So I just took the reciprocal on both the sides. If you are having trouble understanding this, I'll write one more step. Sec is 1 over cos as per the reciprocal identity. And then take, taking reciprocal both the sides, cos is negative 1 over 2. And when is cos negative 1 over 2? In quadrant 2 as well as 3 because in 1 and 4 cos is positive. Uh, and what is the reference angle? The reference angle we can just find by dropping the negative sign. So the reference angle is going to look like cos of x is equal to 1 over 2 which means that x is 60 degree, right, pi over 3. That's the reference angle. But I need the answer in quadrant 2. So that's going to look like, uh, uh, that's going to look like pi minus pi over 3, which is in quadrant 2, and pi plus pi over 3, which is in quadrant 3. So this is going to look like 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. So it's 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. That is the answer, which is option number C. Yeah, that's correct. Right, uh, so this is it for this video.